What is up guys, this is Jay here, Jay Media one and we are back with another product tech review. Today we got the G-Ski High Definition Monocular, and this is meant to be put on your phone. And what this does is it turns it into a high-powered magnific magnification telescope. Uh, this has 12 by 55 zoom on it, so it's not going to be like super, super powerful, but it is pretty powerful for the 12 by 55. Uh, this is waterproof as well. We're not sure to what depths, but it does state that it is waterproof. This can be placed right on the eye of your phone. And then once it's placed on the eye of your phone, it can be used for long distance viewing. It does have a hand strap and some other cool features. So what we're going to do is we're going to open this up. We're going to do the unboxing, show you guys that, and then we're going to show you what it can do when it's placed on the phone. And I'm going to be using the iPhone 12 uh, or the iPhone 13 that we just got. If you haven't seen that video review, I will leave a link up here for you. Go check that out. But that is where we're going to be using to attach to this. And I'm going to be interested to see how the different cameras position on it and things like that. But let's just get right into it. We just open the box here. There's just a tab on top. Open it up like that. Kind of slide it out of here. Everything's kind of just packaged together. You can see the hand strap here. Uh, it's pretty nice. It's about it's padded, and it is like a, a leather feel to it. It has the two straps here, which are adjustable. So there's this little clasp here that you can use to adjust that, and that's pretty nice. And this is a soft uh, padding which is nice and then inside there we also have this little stand here and it's got a little knob so you can make your adjustments and then there's just two like curved in tabs that are held together by springs and those springs allow it to open and close and I'm guessing that so it could fit the different sizes of your phone there's also a knob up top here which allows you to make some more adjustments and there's a, a little ring on the inside here and inside of that ring, if you turn the knob, you can see it move back and forth. So that's pretty neat. And then we also, inside of this packaging, have the device. So it does come in this case, and there was a little bit of reading material that fell out there, which we'll grab. So there's a little bit of reading material on how to set it up, which is normal. Um, how to assemble the adapter. There's a screw, the back screw, things that we've already seen. So we're going to check that out as well. But it does come in this nice case. And it's got a little belt loop holder for it even, which is kind of cool. So it comes in that case, and we're going to open that up. There's some Velcro on the front here. And we just pull it out, and it's wrapped in plastic. And this thing's pretty heavy. It's got a little bit of weight. It's uh, pretty robust. So there's a little adjustment up here, and it does state that it's waterproof. Uh, 12 by 55 on the back as well. And then there's a cap here, and then the cap comes off. You can see the lens. It's a nice large lens inside of there. And on the other side, we also have another cap. Take that cap off, and there's another lens. There's an adjustment here. So when you turn this back and forth, it goes in and out. And I'm guessing that's going to be for the focus part of it. There's a little mounting area with a little knob on the inside and some threads. And so typically, um, you can mount that to a tripod because it looks just like a, a tripod mount. Uh, the screw hole would be about the same size. There's a couple little pop-outs here, and that's going to be for some kind of lanyard or holding device. And then you have your adjustment knob here as well. And so we're going to get this thing all set up. We're going to put it on our phone, take it outside, and let you guys see some of the mountains. We'll be right back, so hang tight. Okay guys, we are back, and we got it set up now. So basically what you have to do to get this thing set up, if this is your phone, and it depends on the size of your phone obviously, and that's why they make adjustments like this. So on the back side, you can see that the knob here is adjustable, so you can move it back and forth. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to get the lens of the camera right here. You're trying to get this. Let me take this off so you can see this right here to line up with the camera hole on your camera that you're going to be using. And so you just put this into place here and there's a little washer so you can change either side. 
and you just put it wherever it fits the best and you don't really tighten it down too much you just put it on there loosely and then you adjust this hole so that it lines up with your camera hole whatever camera you're using in this case on the pro we're going to be using the camera down in the bottom left corner but all you have to really do is look at your phone see where the camera is on the display and then you'll know where to position it tighten this knob down and then your springs of course will hold it tight to your phone here then once you get that part fixed we're going to take this back off so you can see so once you have it positioned over the hole you can see the camera right inside of there now then you will place this inside there and you will just tighten this knob down and I like to have it positioned at the top because then I can do my focus adjustments here as well. And so once that's off, you get that set up, that's how easy it is. Now, you also have a little knob back here and you have one under here. You have a little thread hole so that you can put this on a tripod, which I highly recommend doing because it's not super easy to keep stabilized otherwise. <laughs> and then you got, of course, you got this nice little cap. This does work pretty well. Um, your focus here is where you're going to be able to change how focused the picture is once you get it out there. And I'm going to show you guys uh, several different pictures of that. So we have some pictures of how it looks and uh, how it looks from different viewing angles and things like that. So that's next, guys. Okay, guys, so this is the whole set here. We have the monocular, the cap your little adjustment this little adjustment here allows it to get closer or further away from the screen then we have the little reading material that tells us what to do there is one important thing to note and I did notice this when I was out there um, taking pictures and videos which I'm going to show you is that it must be zoomed in if you look at the reading material here it specifically says zoom the camera and the reason why is because you get this little hole that you can see part of the inside of the monocular without that zoom. So without further ado, I'm going to show you those pictures, kind of walk you through what we're seeing here. So in the first video here, what we see is uh, we see the monocular taking a regular video, and then we're going to zoom into the video. And then after the zoom, we're going to just show you some regular shots. So I hope you guys enjoy.